Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss structure of a sperm. And as well as we will also discuss anatomy and physiology of sperms in human body. Now let's move on to the first of all the structure of a sperm. So if you look at the diagram of a sperm, sperm is a gamete, which is a cell of uh, male human body. It is just like a normal cell, but it has half number of chromosomes. If you take an example of human, there will be 23 chromosomes in a sperm. The body of the sperm has been divided into four regions, head, neck, body and tail. So first of all, we are going to start with head. Head region contain a knob-like structure which contains cytoplasm, cell membrane as well as nucleus in the center. If you look at the head region, the anterior portion of the head is known as acrosome. Acrosome arises from the Golgi apparatus and it is like uh, invagination or a bud on the surface of head. Acrosome usually contain mucopolysaccharides, acid phosphatases and proteolytic enzymes which helps uh, the sperm to penetrate in the ovum for the process of fertilization. So it is very important part of the sperm. Just behind the uh, acrosome there is a head which is usually has the length of 3 to 5 micron which contain compact nucleus which contain chromosome chromatin material and also the cytoplasm just below the head there is a neck region of the sperm neck region is uh, comprises of two discs which are known as anterior end knob as you can see in the green color and posterior end knob these two knobs are disc like structures present between head and the body and differentiate head from the body. From these uh, knobs there arises a filament like structure which is known as axial filament. Just below the neck region there is a body of sperm which is 5 to 9 micron in length. It contains spiral filament as you can see in the red color in the diagram. These spiral filament contain mitochondria which are potential source of energy for the movement and motility of the sperm. While in the center there is axial filament which arises from the neck region from anterior and posterior knobs and it runs along the whole length of the body and the tail. At the end of the body, there is a also disc which is made up of centriole, hollow disc which is known as end disc. And after end disc, tail starts and tail is usually 40 to 50 micron in length which contain uh, axial filament in the center as well as the cytoplasm. The tail can be divided into two parts. The first part is known as chief piece of tail which is the major part of the tail and at the end there is a terminal piece of the tail. So in this way this is the structure and anatomy of a sperm which is comprises head, neck, body and tail and components of the sperms. Now we are going to discuss some medical conditions related to sperms which can lead to fertility or infertility. So I had already made a chart for you. So if we look at this chart there is a condition and then it is characterized by. If you look at the first condition that is known as azoospermia. Azoospermia means lack of sperms in the semen. So this is a con congenital conditions or it can arises in the later in the life due to the use of corticosteroids or excessive use of androgens which can lead to infer infertility. 
So azospermia is the lack of sperm in semen. The second condition is known as oligozoospermia. In this condition, there is a low sperm count in the semen. Sema. So as you know that there should be at least 20 million sperms in 1 ml of semen. So if the sperm count is less than that, then this condition will known as oligozoospermia, which can also lead to infertility. The third condition is known as teratozoospermia. In this condition, the morphology of the sperm is going to change and uh, the sperms are going to be abnormal. So as you see, as you can see in the diagram, the sperm of the uh, body of the sperm contain different region, head, neck, body and tail. So there can be any kind of abnormality in different parts of the sperm. And uh, this can lead to abnormal sperm, which leads to infertility. So it is very important for fertility that the sperm shape, anatomy and morphology should be perfect. So what causes the abnormality? Usually there are certain teratogens which can cause deformities in the shape of the sperms, which can also lead to infertility. Next condition is aspermia. Aspermia is lack of semen. There is no production of semen at all. So this person is, uh, th these person are usually infertile at their early age. The next condition is oligospermia. Oligospermia means low volume of semen. As you know that a normal healthy person usually produces 2 ml to 6 ml semen at per ejaculation. But if the required amount of semen at ejaculation is less than 2 ml, then we consider this condition as known as oligospermia, which can also lead to some kind of infertility. The last condition is hematospermia. Hematospermia condition, there is blood in sperms. So where this blood is coming, there could be infection in gonads, infection in prostate gland, inf infection in seminal vesicles or urethra. So it must be treated. The blood is coming from those parts. So we have to remove that infection to treat this condition. So hematospermia is a condition in which semen or sperms contain blood in it. Uh, that's all for today. See you in the next lecture. Until then, bye.